how exciting and how different is it for you with the first playoff game? Oh, it's really exciting, yeah. You know, I've gone through the nerves. I've been in the league for a long time and played some really big playoff games and series, so I've gone through that part of the nerves. And it is nerve-wracking early because this thing is moving. Uh, but now I'm to the point where uh, it's just really exciting, really exciting. And we've waited a long time. We want to get started. How much is adherence to the style of play in the system critical against the Oilers? Is it, you look back at the previous year, yeah. maybe from where it hasn't gone the right way, was it getting away from it in some ways? Or how important is it? Oh, I think, I think all six teams would teams in the playoffs would tell you they have a style of play, a system. The Oilers have one, too. They play very well. Uh, so whatever it is, you have to play it well against whoever you're playing. So whether it's the Oilers or anybody else that we're playing, we have to play a certain way. And when we're all doing that, uh, we've got a pretty good hockey team. Jim, Quinn Byfield's taken a step this year. Like he came in here and he, he was pretty good last year towards the tail end. But what has taken his game to the next level in your opinion this season? No, it's a good question. Uh, you know, Last year, I think he really established himself with his work ethic. And, you know, you, you take some time to transition from junior to pro. Uh, I give him full marks last year. He, he just really went to work on his game. And he didn't score a lot, but he tracked, he forechecked, he finished checks, he blocked shots. So he did all the things that coaches like to put you on the ice some more. And then now he's just growing into his offensive game. So it's just to me, it's just a natural progression. He's got a lot of skill, uh, but he got his work ethic right, and now his skill is starting to flourish. Jim, you talked a little bit back in, in L.A. about one way to neutralize their power play is simply don't go in penalty box. Has that been a message that you continue to, to bring to the team? Yeah, it is. I mean, it's, it's, uh, it's every team's message, I'm sure. Um, we're going to take penalties. It's going to be uh, uh, fast. It's going to be physical. There's going to be penalties for both sides. I think our, our, this year, I think the evidence would show that our penalty kill is much improved. Uh, you know, so that's that's a difference for us this year. If you're just talking about this year over last year's playoffs, um, yeah. So we don't want to put them on the power play, but when when they do get on the power play, and they will, we want to make sure we just continue to do a good job as we did in the regular season. Jim, as, Jim, as much as your leaders have to lead, lead and your top players have to do what they do, you guys are built on depth. How much is that that depth and that and that quality through the yeah. lineup need to come through? Well, it has to. We believe that's that's why we're in the playoffs, and we believe that's what's going to push us through. Is we believe the greatest strength of our team is our depth, without a doubt. Uh, I think we're we're hard to match up against. Uh, if you look at the forward group, uh, there's different players with different skill sets. You know, right through all all 12 uh, players through the four lines. Uh, so that's our strength. Yeah, and um, we've done that well. That's why we're sitting here today, and we we intend to do the same thing going forward. Is try and try and stop us up front. Jim. Yeah. What do you know? He says he doesn't know you all that well. Yeah. He certainly coached against you. Right. He said, feather in your cap that you're both from two of the Stanley Cup finals. It's, it's a long time ago. Well, yeah, it's a, yeah, it's a long way from, from Tri-City and, and Cranbrook. There's, there's no question, riding the buses. Uh, it's always nice to see somebody that you know along the way, grind it out. You know, Chris did his job, too. He, he spent a lot of time. Um, and he's gotten his opportunity, done done a good job with it. So yeah, you always you always like to see the people from the from your area, from the Western League. I see the linesmen, the referees that you you know traveled with and uh, and you know coached while they were on the ice. You yelled at them, and it's nice to see them up in the NHL as well. Yell at Chris in the Western League? No, I don't think so. No, Chris isn't Chris isn't doesn't isn't the type of guy you have to yell at too often. <laughs> as you guys, as everybody here probably. Knows. Just for, just, with Dubois, what? How have you seen his season gone? You got him paired up with Byfield a little yeah. for now. We're, the playoffs, everybody says, is a new season. It's yeah. got him a new lease on life. And what have you, how have you seen yeah. his progression? Yeah. yeah, well, I think he would tell you he's been up and down. Uh, he's had better regular seasons before, no question. Uh, we've seen some really uh, good nights from him. Uh, I think recently finished off really well against Chicago with, with uh, Byfield, him, those two together. But what I know about uh, Doobie, and I've watched him a fair amount, you know, going all the way back to the bubble in, in uh, Toronto, is this is his time of the year. This is the time. You know, certain players step up. They're, they're built for this time of the year, and, and Doobie is that. So we're expecting him to be a real force. Is Carl Grunstrom going to draw on tonight? Uh, Grunny will be in the lineup tonight. Yes, yes, he will. Going back to Eric's point about the depth, it seems like you have offense on every line. You know, a lot of teams traditionally don't pack up their top six. Yeah. And it feels like you're purposely spreading it out. What's your philosophy? Uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I mean, I don't know if we've if we've uh, thought about it that deeply. It's a good point. We just we just like kind of how things matched up. We've played a lot. If you followed us, um, like our guys, we've played eleven seven, and we've been guys have played it 
everywhere, all over the place. So I think there's a lot of players that are comfortable playing with each other. Um, you know, I, I'm here to tell you it might change. It could change in the first period because we've been that way. But I think we've done it enough that the players, it's, it's pretty natural for them. So um, we'll see what we get. But that is our strength, and, uh, and we'll play to it. Well, he's a real four-checker. You know, he's probably our most physical player on the four-check, and uh, we've lacked that a little bit over the since he's been gone. So he plays a north-south game again. If you talk about the playoffs, and if you've watched, you know, I'm sure everybody watched last night. The puck goes in, people get banged. You know, it's it's a real part of the game. It's sort of magnified in the playoffs. So he he's that type of player. So we can use that in our lineup. Jim, with the order power play, they play the same five guys in the power play. You play them a lot. Do you even have to show video? players say, we've seen this. Before. Yeah, right. We know, we know it's going to get to Drysell or yeah. McDavid and then back to Bouchard. Is there anything you can show them that is different? Uh, no, yeah, we, we do prepare them. We have to. And they, they've seen most of it before, but they're, they're continually trying to adjust as we adjust too. So there, there are new things that they're doing or things that they've done uh, against us this year that they hadn't done in the past. So yeah, we're, we're in the process of preparing them. But you're right. We, we know what they do well. There's no question there.